What's going on everyone, my name's Tenebris, and today we're going to talk about the ultimate movement setup for Far Cry 6. You'll need the Furioso Supremo and the full parkour set. With the combination of these two, you get the highest amount of base movement speed possible in the game, unlimited stamina, the ability to avoid all falling damage, and an added double jump that turns most of the locations in Far Cry 6 into creative jungle gyms. If you enjoy this video and want to see more Far Cry 6 stuff like this, subscribe and stick around for more. This setup is pretty simple and you can obtain this right after you get off the first island. You'll need the full parkour outfit, though the hat and shirt aren't entirely necessary. The main pieces you absolutely do need though are the shorts, shoes, and wristband, as those all add to your speed and even give you the unlimited stamina ability. Then you'll need the Furioso for the double jump and the rush mod that will add even more to your base speed. If you're missing any of the parkour set, you can go off and pick it up at any of the store vendors in the game, or you can roll RNG and open up various Libertad chests scattered throughout the map. With your weapons holstered, you'll have a 3x speed boost while moving, which benefits the Furioso's jetpack massively, but on its own is just a ridiculous amount of movement speed. Using the movement mechanics added in Far Cry 6, including the new ledge mechanics, you can use this setup to get extremely vertical in situations you maybe wouldn't expect. Most locations are great for climbing to get high vantage points, but the hard part is crossing certain gaps that you just can't do easily, as parachuting usually leads to quite a bit of lost height, and wingsuiting can not be so good in tight spaces. This added mobility can be great for making old locations have brand new approaches. Many locations across the map reset with more enemies and gaining new ways of approaching those locations can really spice up the repeat grind process. The moment I got my hands on the Furioso, my first thought was, hey, this is kind of like the double jump in New Dawn, and it absolutely is like the double jump in New Dawn, as it resets your fall height, meaning you can avoid the slow and unnecessary fall damage you can encounter pretty easily from heights you wouldn't expect throughout Far Cry 6. And you can even use this resetting fall damage to avoid lethal falls that would kill you outright. Every time you slide to get the parkour short speed boost, you reset your stamina. This is a normal thing for Far Cry games, where speed boosts don't take stamina to sprint. You can tell this based on your character's run animation. If their hands are outstretched, then you have stamina, and if their hands are in fists, you don't have stamina. Every time you slide, you don't use stamina to sprint from that point on until the speed boost ends, so your stamina winds up actually recharging through the process. This, combined with the expanded stamina of the full set, allows you to essentially sprint forever as long as you periodically slide every once in a while. As well with this set, you're able to pull off some machete kills that would be ranging from incredibly hard to impossible to pull off without this gear equipped. The added momentum you get from sliding gives you a 4x speed boost, which means that you're able to run up to enemies way faster than they can even react to half the time. And you can use this speed boost to help out with hunting down animals, because when you're using ammunition you always risk the chance of damaging the meat, so you can use this speed boost to catch up to animals and just knife them and get yourself skins every time. There are a couple neat things to keep in mind when you're using the Furioso jetpack. First off is that it's momentum based, so if you turn to the left or you turn to the right, that will be the direction that you can get launched in by the Furioso while you're in midair. As well, the Furioso's fire can catch fire, obviously, to things that are flammable, but it's not entirely usable as a weapon, that's more so what the Supremo portion of the jetpack is for. So, there we go! Massive mobility, massive momentum. The combination of the parkour set plus the Furioso plus the Rush mod just equals the highest amount of movement speed that you can have in the game, and this is all obtainable right once you get off the first island, so you can get it pretty much mid-game. So, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. But for now, I've been Tenebris, you've been awesome, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.